Hey, what's going on guys? It is Fox United State here and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. And today, we'll be finding out if it is fun to drive the Portuguese Grand Prix circuit backwards on F1 2021. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, feel free to drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well as uh, we continue the final uh, little video of our Portuguese Grand Prix special weekend thing really i've just been doing races around portugal really having some fun but of course we are here uh, at portimao and uh, i was initially going to obviously do the belgian grand prix uh this weekend uh, but then obviously they decided to release portimao so we're here for this race instead so let's get ourselves onto the track then and see how it feels and if there's anything uh difficult or fun or, or whatever about it uh, and get a lap sorted under our belts Okay, so you join me at turn one, specifically because I could not be bothered to just make up some waffling talk whilst I was on the uh, on the long drag down the straight. So uh, as we make our way then through the pitch straight, uh, coming towards this last corner, which theoretically should be flat. It might be difficult considering we're in... No, it's absolutely straight up flat. There's no changes there. Hmm, I can take that a little bit quicker on entry. Oh, that's a bit of a tough corner. Oh, I've gone off. Ooh, bit of undulation there as well. Oh, my lord. Going up this hill is not going to be fun. That's a horrible corner. Oh, my lord. Jeez. Look at the undulation of everything. I, I can't see. I can't see if there's a corner. There's a corner there. Just thought I'd let you know. It's not like I could see the thing. Alright, anyway. Oops. Oh yeah, you invalidate my lap there, but not when I was off the circuit. Nonetheless, we move. This track is going to be really hard to drive backwards and get a good lap in. Oh my lord, alive! This is hard. Right. Last two corners. It'd be crucial to get a good exit out there. Right, we've got a feel for the circuit. And I can tell you that it's really hard. So let's give it a go. That's a Pirelli board. Missed that corner again. Okay. That corner is causing me constant issues. There we go, then there's our first clean hot lap backwards around Portimao. Takes a bit of time to get used to, but in the end, we got there. Good lap as well, actually. Definitely a few places where I was just like, yeah, I can find some time there. So we'll keep going, we'll keep trying. Of course, we're just looking for two very nice clean laps, and then we can compare them afterwards. And as I'm speaking, you can tell how difficult the track is when I'm speaking and I'm getting every corner wrong. So it just goes to show that you just need maximum concentration uh, to even consider getting it slightly right. I realised you couldn't go flat out through there. I thought it was a different corner. Whoopsie. That's too deep. 
I've uh, been getting some good laps together. I'm just making a mistake at one corner at a time. But it's not the same corner every time. It's a completely different corner. That's what really winds me up sometimes when I do these videos. Is sometimes you just have that corner that's a pain in the backside and you can get away with it. And you can just keep learning that corner. But other tracks like this one, you get one corner right, you get one wrong. You get the one you got wrong right and then you get a different corner wrong. And it's just, yeah, it's a pain. Same corner again. I'm going to go wide. Fuck you. There we go then, there's our second flying lap. It wasn't actually as clean as I thought it would be. Um, I made a mistake in the last corner, I broke a bit too early, and then I had to bump on the kerb. Luckily that kerb didn't auto spin me off, but um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through side-by-side -side laps as we always do of the two of them. I honestly think my first lap is gonna be quicker than the second lap. Um, I'll be very surprised in the edits if it's not. So let's get straight into the two laps. All right, then we are back here after those two laps, and Sabres driving the track fours, really. This is a roller coaster of a race circuit backwards, and it's it's diff it's weird. It's it's fun to do. Don't get me wrong; I still find it quite fun, but I much prefer driving the circuit forwards than I do backwards. I feel like all these undulations and these roller coaster feels it works because of the direction that you're driving in. There's so many blind corners going backwards, and the point is is that you're going up the hill rather than going down the hill. And obviously with these undulations being so big around here, it's not a case of like, you know, oh, it's a slight little uphill section that really catches you up. No, you're going properly uphill to the point where, you know, as soon as you exit the corners, that's when you're then going downhill. And on here, this is where you're entering the corners, and it's just a really difficult to try and get it right. It's quite, it's still really fun. But I would definitely prefer driving the circuit forwards than I do backwards. But guys, if you haven't ended up enjoying today's uh, video, drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. Next week, definitely 
will be the Belgian Grand Prix this time around. Um, but of course, uh, Portimao came in and I wanted to give it a shot. So yeah, uh, that is it from me. I will see you guys next time. Take care all. Peace.